give your opponent a what the F moment when you use these type of adjustments against them with the most popular defense in the game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I want to talk about uh, basically um, a, uh, a type of a defensive formation that you can use in the big nickel G uh, formation, over G formation that you cannot find anywhere else. And it's cool about this defense is that it's a, it's a special type of defense. It's a show defense. It's showing your opponent a look pre-snap and you can make, it a cha make a change of the coverage completely post-snap. Now, uh, any kind of show defense actually have two common types of shows. Uh, so if you can see right here, the one uh, the defense in the middle is the, the bunk slant show two. It's a cover two show. It's a, it's, it's a cover two shell before the ball is snapped. If you scroll through the rest of these plays right here, you'll see another one, which is a cover two show four. So basically you're giving your opponent kind of a, a cover four look where all the four, four defensive backs are down. Uh, but for the most part, uh, most of these these special uh, uh, coverages actually come in uh, either a cover two show two uh, or a cover three show two, or it is some kind of a show four. So what is cool about the play I'm gonna show you right now is we're gonna give our opponent a look where he's going to think it's cover three and actually going to be going ahead and running a coverage uh, a cover two shell uh, behind it completely screwing up our opponent so this is going to be once again out of the big nickel uh, G uh, big nickel over G uh, and basically we're going to come out of the cover three sky and uh, what's what's cool about this is that this is a, a defense uh, that your your opponent when he sees that single high safety he sees those three uh, defensive backs back uh, he's going to say okay this is cover three now I've got to start manipulating my defense. At least that's what a good player would do. So it's giving your opponent uh, a, an initial read. Now, uh, if you guys are uh, know what's going on with Madden right now, uh, there's basically the ability to go ahead and set up an easy block shed type defense with this type of look. And it's as simple as actually pinching your line, taking your line and spreading it out, uh, hitting the left bumper button and actually going and slanting outside. So what you do to pinch, you get to go ahead and hit your left bumper and pinch and then uh, basically slant out. And if you hover your middle linebacker or your other linebacker right over the safety, what's going to happen is you're going to have yourself some nice block shifts. Now, if you're showing your opponent this type of a shell right here, uh, he's seeing cover three. But because of, because of quick adjustments, now I've actually went ahead and turned this into a cover two shell, which essentially is a cover two. Now you saw how quick it was for you to make those adjustments, and if you get the muscle memory down, you can actually make this adjustments to really mess up your opponent. Now I'm playing against, um, this is basically practice mode, I'm actually letting the CPU control it. We've got, uh, in this type of situation, we have uh, basically uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers, which is one of the best. Uh, the best uh, quarterbacks in the game. So he'll make the right read. Uh, he probably won't freeze up on it. Uh, but this is actually going to go and throw off your opponent a lot right there. So you can see right here, even though uh, the defender actually fell back, I'm glad that that example happened, uh, he let the, the guy go back. But right here, I've got a guy actually defending the seam. And he's able to go and make a ball right there on a long ball. So this is a good way to go and bait your opponent uh, into a coverage where he thinks it's going to be uh, basically a cover three shell, but actually it's cover two. And actually cover three because you got this guy deep uh, uh, over this over the middle. So uh, that's what's really cool about it is he doesn't know what type of coverage he's going to be running. And he's going to have a fast clock that's actually going to happen right there with this, this shell. So let's go ahead and jump into this again. So to set this up, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up our blitz first, and then we're going to go ahead and make our manual adjustments uh, to go ahead and get our seams uh, in the middle. Now, what's cool about this particular play and this formation, as I'm aware uh, that I know of, it allows you to go ahead and take uh, your defensive uh, slot defenders and actually put them into seam uh, deep halves. So what you do is you're going to hit your triangle button or Y button twice. I select the icon of the player that you want to. And then if you take a look in the bottom right hand corner, uh, corner uh, you can see that I've got the option of actually putting one of my guys into a middle third, an outside third, a deep half left, outside a third uh, right. I've also got a deep half right. Uh, I've got a middle read and then I've also got a blitz. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and take uh, my left stream uh, guy and actually put him on a deep half. 
make the same kind of adjustment for the X uh, guy. I put him on a deep path over here, and then I go ahead and make adjustment. I, I double tap my wire triangle button twice, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in a cloud flat or a hard flat. I'm gonna go ahead and put my my circle uh, defensive back and put him in a hard flat or, or, or a, a cloud flat. And my responsibility essentially is to play the middle of the field. I'm gonna be looking for any kind of, any kind of crossers right here with this. And you wanna go ahead and make sure you occupy that center so you get those one-on-one -on -one situations with the guys right over the middle. So that's that's how this actual defense actually runs right here. So good play right there by the CPU, but that's what's cool about it. Now what if you have someone who runs a lot of mush, mesh against you? Well, uh, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and give yourself somewhat of a hybrid coverage here. We're gonna do so by doing the following adjustments. We're gonna go ahead and take our, uh, our, our slot defender and we're gonna go ahead and put him on a deep path off to the right where he's going to the other side. Slot defender off the, off the, off the uh, right hand side, we're gonna put him off to the left. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys down in cloud flats, which is going to be the outside corners. And we're just going to go ahead and man up over the middle right here. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to throw off your man's, your opponent's reads. If he's using a lot of types of, uh, types of crossing routes, uh, you're actually going to go ahead and have a defender in the area to go ahead and make a play for you. So once again, we're going to go ahead and do uh, a deep half to the right with this defender deep half off to the off to the left with this defender and we're going to go ahead and put our guys down into uh, soft squats preferably uh, for the outside guys so just in case a guy actually carries with the, with a the fly route that soft squat she'll follow with him and we're going to go ahead and take our guy hover over the center I'd uh, force him to actually defend that we got uh, we have Jones coming out soft squat should be out there to go ahead and play that and now you've got all these guys crossing messing up your opponent's reads if he's actually looking to go and hit the seams or come across. So this is just another way to go and mess up your, your opponent. Uh, you can't do this type of crossing thing against your opponent on a regular basis uh, because uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself into some serious trouble uh, because uh, if you have a guy that's worth anything, he's going to go and figure out uh, how what the weakness of that defense is. So once again, we've, we got a bunch of guys right there to go ahead and take away a lot of those reads. So guys, this is going to be uh, a basically defense I'm going to be experimenting on right, uh, online. So if you do like these type of tips, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. And once again, to my Patreon members, thank you for your support, and until the next time.